Hey there, it's Candace. I'm going to walk you through my classic pesto recipe. This makes about a half a cup, so you don't have to make tons of pesto when you are wanting a little bit to add to your food. So I like to toast the pine nuts, even though it doesn't call for it in the recipe, but if you'll toast them, you'll get a richer flavor. You don't have to, but I like to do that. So toast them before you start the recipe. Then I like to use a little Cuisinart, a little kind of a handheld almost food processor. I use for a half a cup, I use two garlic cloves that I smash and peel and then just put them right into the bowl of the food processor. Then I add about two cups of fresh basil leaves. Followed by the pine nuts. and a little bit of olive oil. Then I process it. Then after that, I add, uh, I scrape it down and then I add a little more olive oil and salt and pepper and finish processing. Then you grate the parm. And I use about a quarter to a half a cup. Oh, I guess I should have said the pine nuts. I use about two tablespoons of pine nuts. So everything's kind of cut in half from the original recipe. Grate the parm. Then you stir the parm into the pesto. Don't food process it. It changes the texture. So you don't want to do that. Then if you need to, you add a little bit more oil and get it to the right consistency. And then there you have it, a half a cup of pesto, just enough for one or two people.